Yes, good morning to you, Chris. You know that tweets have not stopped, even with the promotion and the change of guard. Now, I'm talking about uh, Lieutenant General, from Lieutenant General Mohoska Nerugaba to General Mohoska Nerugaba. The tweets, I should say that uh, they open up, opened up a, diplomat a diplomatic role uh, between Uganda and a sister nation, Kenya, uh, because the Kenyans were up in arms. But yesterday we saw the cabinet secretary designate uh, for Kenya, that is Alfred Mutua, sitting together with uh, Uganda's High Commissioner to Kenya, mm -hmm. Dr. Galiwango. And from what we saw, and from Uganda, the Foreign Affairs Ministry, that they, now all is well. Mambo Ikosawa. But still, the feeling is one that is still of mistrust. Honorable Henry Okeroliem, the Minister of State for International Relations, this is not good news between Uganda and her sister, Kenya. No, it is uh, it's, it's natural. Uh, in any relationship, no matter how uh, good the relationship, uh, now and then there will be uh, uh, misunderstandings or some sort of, uh, you know, dis disagreement. Mm. So in this particular case, I would not even call it a diplomatic crisis. I would not call it even a major crisis. I said this is a matter that was resolved within 24 hours. The Kenyans have, have clearly understood the position of the government of Uganda vis-a-vis -vis our continued historical relationship with them. And uh, I'm confident that uh, as we wake up this morning, uh, we are back to uh, business as usual, and we're working hard to continue working towards East Africa Community Federation. But still the feeling on, online from the, some Kenyans is still that of mistrust, the feeling of uh, uncomfort. This should, must have put you in a difficult place as foreign affairs uh, following these streets from the general. You, you, you see uh, these social media issues uh, is something which is new in, uh, in, uh, in Africa. And, and, uh, but uh, we do not deal with government issues. Uh, we do not deal with serious managing of countries with issue of social media. Oh, come on, Honorable. You, you know, uh, if you had to have a, mini, a, a meeting, an abrupt meeting between uh, High Commission and the Minister designate, but also even here, Minister coming up, also issuing a statement on social media, that means that it speaks of volumes. It does not. We do this every day. Mm. We do this every day. It's, it's to, to you, it, it, it is unusual. But for me, who have been in this business for over 20 years, it is, it is normal to, to invite an ambassador to, 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 for clarification. I always call ambassadors here in my office so many times for clarification. But do they have to publish it in the media that I'm invited such and such as an ambassador? It's just in this particular case, there was a lot of interest in this particular issue. Hence, the, the press pick it up. But if it was the, the, no, the, the, the normal uh, meetings that we, we invite ambassadors for clarifications on issues or relations, on issues that we find uh, is happening in their countries, then, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, it is business as usual. For example, let me take a typical example. There's always issues in the media about Ugandans being mistreated uh, abroad in different countries, Ugandans who have gone for labor. But you, we always invite ambassadors for consultation. Mm -hmm. But I've never seen you come to my, my office <laughs> to, 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 to interview me. You know, some, some people are saying that uh, by now, a general uh, going the way he's uh, been tweeting now, day and night, by now we even have been uh, court, court martialed by, like if it was someone else. Tweety, tweeters and whatever you call it is not the forum for this business. If any government, in its right sense, any responsible government, uh, does business on Twitter, that's not a, a serious government. Impossible. That is a government that should not be even in place. And those people in government should all resign. There is no government on this earth which, in its right sense, will do business with on Twitters. There is official communication, channels of communication. And that official channel of communication is what you respond to. You don't deal with issues on social media. Going forward, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, what will it be doing to make sure that these ties are not uh, put asunder? Uh, because what we saw yesterday, uh, even the other day on Monday, at least it's a feeling that was put in your ministry and, uh, the, and our brothers and sisters in Kenya at uh, cross, cross paths. The, to, the, the final result of the meeting of our ambassador, our high commissioner, in Nairobi with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the, the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kenya was very clear. The, the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kenya came out and said, Mambo ni sawa. Everything is okay now. So what else do you want to, us to say? The Kenyans have said very clearly that now they understand everything is okay, everything is normal. 
and, and uh, therefore, what, what I'm what saying is, okay. you from that? Honorary, what I'm asking is that uh, whatever with the situation we are in yesterday and Monday, uh, going forward, no what would you do? No, what would you do to no avoid it? As far as we're concerned, we have even invited President Ruto to come to Uganda for the independence celebration, and he's coming for Uganda celebration. He's coming for the prayer breakfast in Uganda. He's coming for the prayer breakfast in Uganda. What other signal do you want to show that our relationship is solid and unshakable? You know, when you talk about unshakable relations, we've seen you with the Geno in Ethiopia. The other day you were with the President Uhuru Kenyatta, the ex-president of Kenya, are still after following these kind of the treats. This sends a signal that, yes, uh, all is not, is, is not in control. Government is not in control of some of the Genos, like him. No, you see, these are... Uh, these are diplomatic uh, poli and political consultations that that we we we, we, under, we undertake. And uh, but you the the press uh, uh, t tend to blow it out, out of out of proportion. I met the prime minister of of, uh, of Ethiopia uh, during my recent visit there. And as far as concerned, he told me very clearly that he he does not believe and does not deal anything with the tweeters. If he wants to understand his relationship with Uganda. He picks up a phone and reads President Museveni and asks President Museveni directly on, on any matter. But he does not go based on, 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 on Twitter's. You know, Honorable you Kedolia, yes, I understand. You are dismissing Twitter in the modern is, day, modern day we, that we are living in. Absolutely. Twitter. In terms of doing government business, mm. in terms of diplomatic engagement, mm. in terms of dialogue between government and government, I dismiss Twitter. Yes, you can dismiss it, but in the modern day communication, people communicate, even the president himself. So President Yorim Seven communicates using his Twitter handle. Uh, we've seen Kenya, we've seen everyone, even the even the cabinet secretary Alfred Mutua, even communicated using still the Twitter because we are living in modern day times where people are communicating use this using this channel of communication. You cannot dismiss but, 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 but it. But it's not for engagement. Mm -hmm. It's not for engagement of business to to give out a message that Mambo is sour. It's not the same as when we engage mm -hmm. in serious matters of government business. Sasa Dugangu, about Yauko, about it is. Is, is Mambo, uh, is Mambo query, see your query. Those matters are discussed in house. Don't, don't, yes, how are you, my brother? What is happening? Mm. It doesn't happen that way. Mm. But, but I'm, I'm sure, mm. and, I, and I'm absolutely sure, President Museveni must have took, talked to Ruto uh, by now uh, two or three times on the phone. Okay. Yes. But, but so the image but of the police. If mm. you say that's a matter of communication, mm. then why did the President Museveni? Then communicate to, to, to Ruto on, 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 on Twitter that you know this matter that, that you, you read on the Twitter is not true and not honest. You think President Sanders sent a Twitter message to President Ruto? By the way, the conduct of uh, the military, at least the UPDF, would uh, bar some communication by serving officers, the way the manner and the conduct of, serv of serv serving officers is controlled and guided by the I mean, co you know, court. You are looking for something which is not there. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. you are looking for something which is not there. Our relationship with Kenya is absolutely solid. The, in terms of uh, communicate, in terms of uh, movement of people, movement of vehicles, movement of aircrafts between our two countries, it is s seamless. In terms of uh, our diplomatic relations, our engagement, our high commissioners there, I am here, he's sending us messages, we are sending messages, streamless. In terms of everything that you with, with, with Kenya, mm. everything is normal. Okay, what There's something... What about? Mm. You just go and sleep mm. and know that we're in charge. Mm. And uh, I can tell you something which is there. At least we've seen some uh, people in army uniforms on the streets uh, picking and abduct, what, what some people have called abduction, abducting people, taking away. Like the other day, uh, just a week ago, we saw a person who looked to be of Asian, uh, Asian origin. See, it, it, this it, is denting the Uganda's image outside no, and putting you me, as the Foreign Affairs no, Ministry at her time. It is lack of communication. Mm. If you're going to pick up an Asian, there, there's nothing special about Asians, first of all, let me tell you. Even even the some Ugandans. Mm. There is nothing special about Asians. Mm. And there's nothing special about Chinese or Europeans. First of all, let me tell you there's nothing special. Mm. If you are picked, okay, for immigration uh, the, uh, issues, you're, listen, you're overstayed. 
of, of immigration, if, if you are picked on the streets, you are being done in immigration, you are picked in the streets of, of, of Uganda. Because you, 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 are, you default, uh, the, the problem is on our side of, of government is that we fail to explain situations. What should have happened in that particular case is that the police should have come on the next day or that day after and said, the rest of this Asian, as you call it, or the rest of this particular person was done because of such and such and such a situation. He, he, he committed this crime, he, he never undertook what was expected of him, he and, and he was being arrested. Mm. So it is the, the lack of explanation on our side, which I accept, but if it was explained, people would understand it. But even there are some other Ugandans who are also at least uh, handled in the same manner. The conduct. Mm. Yes, but, but that's what I'm saying. If, if, if people are arrested, even Ugandans, if they're arrested, mm. and, the, and the arrest is clearly explained, okay, the circumstances in which the Ugandan was arrested, mm. that this Ugandan was arrested because he committed a, a, such and such a crime, or is wanted for such and such a reason, if it is clearly explained, I think then people will understand. Mm. If you commit a crime in this country, or if you default for some reason for, for, for anything that is, that is criminal, and you have to be arrested, there is a method in which you should be arrested. You see, so now, the manner in which the police arrest, if they arrest you in the streets and you resist, mm. then you see that kind of fracas. The person being arrested, he, 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 he tries to resist, resist arrest, and he has that problems. However, if the police could surely, which I agree is our shortcomings, if they could come out clearly, like normally the police spokesmen come out, clearly come and explain, even those uh, people who were uh, names are given in, in Parliament, if they clearly explain that these people have disappeared or not uh, or uh, custody or they're being held for such a such a reason, if it's clearly explained, I think the people of Uganda would understand.